I use my MacBook Pro for everything, from watching American Netflix to editing SmartDNS proxy videos that I edit. That's right, I do it myself. I don't know where the editor's gonna put it. There's another one here for Chromecast. Editor. And over the past couple of years, I've discovered apps that have helped me boost my productivity vastly. And here are some of them. Oh, and by the way, all the links for the apps will be in the description below because they give you a good bang for your buck. So let's check them out, shall we? Let's start by removing clutter from my desktop. I use Hidden Me to hide my desktop icons. If I want to take a screenshot or record screen on my Mac, one click on the app icon on the menu bar and then all the icons are gone. Want to bring it back? Two more clicks and the icons are back. Of course, you can always set up a keyboard shortcut or always hide icons in the launch from the app's preferences. Now that everything's nice and tidy, let's move on to the next app. Talking about Unclutter, the next app in the list is literally called Unclutter. You take your mouse to the menu bar and scroll down with two fingers. Unclutter will give you three options, clipboard, file storage and notes. The clipboard lets you manage your copy paste history and the next one is for storing files in a drop zone. I don't use it much. And finally, you have an area for quick notes. So give the free trial a go and then maybe you can buy it. Even in 2019, Apple's calendar app is not present in the menu bar, which is why I use It's a Cal. It's a tiny free calendar app that sits on your menu bar. Every time you click on it, it shows a small pop-up calendar and you can also set up a reminder. It's not as powerful as other calendar apps, but it's the one I needed. Check it out. I have a list of this and all the other apps in the description of the video. Popclip is for people who can't be bothered doing stuff again and again. If I have to copy something on my Mac's clipboard, I select the text and then right click on to get a copy option. Same is the case when I want to do a web search. First copy the text and then open a new tab and then paste it. I hate repeating stuff. But with Popclip, all I have to do is double click the test and get the copy and search options right there. Pretty cool, right? It saves me like 100 clicks a day. Talking about saving time, next up we've got Atext. Now chances are you already know about Atext, some of you might be already using it, but if you don't, here's why you should. Atext is a text expansion app, meaning you can enter little words or phrases and the app drops in something else. For example, typing in HRU becomes how are you, SDP becomes smart dance proxy. Similarly, if I'm busy and I don't have time to reply to an email, I can just type in busy followed by dash and Atex will fill in with the auto reply. It takes times to build all of these presets, but once you do, they're like the compound interest. Do check out Atex, it costs about $5 and it's worth every penny. You know what else is worth $5? Smart VPN. What separates SmartDNS Proxy VPN from the rest is SmartVPN. This VPN is designed especially from removing geo restrictions from video sites. Say I want to watch US Netflix and BB UK at the same time without having to switch between servers every time. All I have to do is choose a SmartVPN server and turn on the VPN. Now I can watch US Netflix and BBC iPlayer simultaneously, even though I'm not living in any one of those countries. Friends is a new app that I've started using recently. Before this though, I had three different apps running on Mac. One is Slack to communicate with my team, WhatsApp Messenger for friends and family, and Skype for clients. Not that I'm complaining, but it would be awesome if I can get everything under one roof. This is exactly what Franz does. It's a new app that crams 14 messenger services such as Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Hangouts, Skype, Slack, etc. into just one app. And yeah, if you're wondering, Franz doesn't see anything you've sent. One caveat though is every once in a while, Franz will nag you to update to a paid version by delaying the app to launch for about five to seven seconds. You remove this restriction by upgrading to four euros a month.
If you're as disorganized as I am, then Magna is for you. It's like the Windows snapping tool. You can manage windows by dragging them to each corner of the screen or simply by using the keyboard shortcut. Magnet supports multiple windows management. For example, you can pin one window to the top right, another one to the bottom right, while the other takes the entire left half of the screen. Magnet is available for a dollar on the Mac App Store, so go check it out. If you're looking for a note-taking app and if you're an Apple ecosystem, then you have to try out Bear. I just started using this app while researching for this video, but one thing that instantly got me though is its simplicity. You can either create a note or to-do list, but what separates it from other note-taking apps like Evernote or OneNote that follows a folded structure, but Bear uses hashtags so that you can link one note to another. Bear is free to use, so obviously you can go check it out. Finally, my favorite app on the list is Freedom. Unlike the name suggests, this app blocks distractions from websites on my Mac. For instance, say if I want to write the script for my video, I would block all the websites to avoid any distraction. Expect Rainy Mood, which helps me concentrate so I can create an expectation for a particular website and start a session. Now every website is blocked except for the ones that have been whitelisted. But unlike many website blockers, it goes a step further. Freedom also blocks your desktop apps. Simply open a list of your desktop apps and then select the ones that you want to block. For example, I need Slack for work, but Steam is a no-no. And once you're done, start a session, I can launch Slack, but Steam doesn't work. Freedom costs $29 a month, but comes with seven free sessions to try it. So those are some of the best apps you could download for your Mac to boost productivity. And if you're looking for an iPhone version, it's coming out soon. And oh, by the way, I just bought a 10s Max and we're doing a giveaway. So keep an eye out for that video. As always, I'm Vamsi from Smart Genius Proxy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.